Welcome to the University of Virginia School of Law. My name is Jasmine Lee and I'm a proud graduate of the law school from 2020. I also graduated from the undergrad institution in 2016. I'm so excited to tell you a little bit more about the law school today. Founded in 1819, UVA Law is the second oldest continuously running law school in the nation. The school was originally located in various sites over on main grounds, but in 1974 moved to where we are now, known as the North Grounds. Today the school has a diverse population of about 1,000 students from all over the country and the world. I know many of you haven't been able to make it on grounds to visit yet, so I'm happy to show you around. Inside the building, we have to wear masks around other people, but I've been given permission to take mine off for the purposes of our tour. We're just inside the main entrance to the school. To either side of me are the two main buildings that make up the law school. Darden, UVA's Graduate School of Business, used to be housed in the building to my right, while the law school was housed in the building to my left. In the 1990s, when Darden moved just down the road, the university built Clay Hall to join the two buildings, making what we know now as the law school. Behind me, this wall is celebrating a century since co-education was introduced to the law school, as well as 200 years since the university and the law school were founded. This is also the entrance to Kaplan Pavilion. Kaplan Pavilion is the focal point for lectures, symposiums, receptions, and other kinds of events. As we continue down Clay Hall, we arrive at the library. So let's go there next. Right now, we're standing on the first floor of the library, one of the most popular places to study. If you're not a library studier though, don't worry. There are plenty of spaces throughout the building that you are able to get your work done and do your reading. The library also has two additional floors that have journal offices, more study spaces, meeting rooms, and everyone's personal favorite, free coffee in my lab, the student break room. Right now, the desk also have plexiglass up to help protect students during the pandemic. Back outside the library, we're now in the main hallway for classrooms, both large lecture classes and small seminar classrooms. But the classroom isn't the only place that UVA law students learn. The school has 20 clinics, pro bono programs, study abroad programs, and externship opportunities where students can really utilize their skills out in the field. Some of my classmates even argued in front of the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals during their 3L, and they won. Now we're in what's normally known as the social hub of the law school, Scott Commons, affectionately also known as SCOCO. Here you're likely to grab a quick coffee in the morning, meet up with friends or visiting alum, or take time to enjoy your lunch. Things are pretty quiet here over the summer, but this is what it's like during a typical school year. The outdoor terrace outside of SCOCO allows you to study or eat outside when the weather is nice. Normally, students have a variety of options for eating in SCOCO. This includes both grab and go, a sandwich bar, and even a grill. Just off of SCOCO, we find ourselves in another study space. With its soundproof doors, this one is known for being a quiet place to study, even when SCOCO is at its most busy. As we continue on our tour, going past SCOCO, we are now entering the other half of the building, known as Slaughter Hall. We're so lucky to have the convenience of a bookstore right here in the building. No matter if you're looking for an extra book, you want a soda to go with your lunch, or you want just one more UVA sweatshirt, we have it all right here. As we pass the bookstore, this hallway is filled with the offices of various student organizations. UVA Law has over 65 student organizations. These range from pro bono groups to affinity groups and everything in between. There really is something for everyone here. We also have 10 academic journals, some of which have offices located throughout this hallway. We're now in the Carr Student Services Center. Around the corner are the offices of Student Records and Student Affairs. And on the first floor of the Carr Center, we have both the offices of Financial Aid and Admissions. So a lot of the student services you'll need are all centrally located. On the second floor of the Carr Center is Career Development. This includes the Office of Private Practice, the Public Service Center, and the Office of Judicial Clerkships. Continuing on the second floor, conveniently located down the hallway from Career Development, are a series of interview rooms. All of these doors lead to interview rooms for employers who come from across the nation for a chance to hire our students. 
And during On Ground Interviewing Week, or OGI as we call it here, this place is packed. Also on this floor, we have new courtrooms, clinic offices, and even more classrooms. Moot courtrooms are where trial advocacy and public speaking classes meet. UVA has a strong tradition in training lawyers for the courtroom. Even if you don't think you want to do trial work, these classes are excellent tools for persuasive and confident speaking. A UVA law team has won the International Tax Moot Court competition three times in a row, including this past year where they argued over Zoom. Down in the basement of the law school is Kaplan Auditorium. If a well-known speaker is coming to the school, this is where you will hear them. In a typical year, this is also a place where the entering class gathers for orientation and other major events. At the center of the law school is Spee's Garden. This is a great outdoor space to eat lunch and enjoy the nice weather, to take a little break, or just to study. During a typical year, we love to kick off the semester with the student activities fair, this is also where our Halloween carnival takes place. Thanks for taking the tour. We hope to see you in Charlottesville and at UVA Law soon. I hope your journey here is as wonderful as mine has been.